people are talking about gun violence for good reason. And it's hard to make sense out of it all sometimes, the arguments and stuff. But basically the argument in America is that, well, it's written in the Constitution that we should not be deprived of the ability to defend ourselves. And therefore, we are entitled to bear arms. That's the real reason behind it. It goes back to the forming of the Constitution when there was a real reason for defending ourselves against who knows what, the people that we stole the land from and so forth. Thieves have to defend themselves. So, but now, you know, the, and Hunt, by the way, of course, the early Americans, after they stole the land, they had to hunt the animals that weren't theirs either. So aside from this, how, what do we do now? Because changing the Constitution is not a real option. Because then you, you know, and that's quite right, it shouldn't be changed. But there could be ways to discourage people from buying guns, like, you know, something like signing a document that you, if you hurt, harm another person with it, it's automatic castration. Other deterrents might be attacks, like they did on cigarettes. Why not tax guns? heavily and by the nature of the gun itself. Why, why not have maybe hunting rifles, you know, that are bolt action, single shot, which hunters, you know, use, you know, for quite legitimate reason. You know, not everyone's a vegetarian. Maybe let those be normal price. And the, the more non-hunting use the gun becomes, for the tax goes up till it becomes extraordinarily high. How do you deter people? I mean, yeah, we have the right to buy guns, but you know, do we have the right to kill people with them? So, how do we deter the abuse of guns? So, if people want to argue, then there should be, you know, room to preserve the Constitution and deter abuse of the guns. You know, we, to change our name, you know, we have to publish it in a newspaper. And make it known to everybody. So if people purchase something other than a hunting rifle, why not put their picture in the newspaper and have that mandatory? Basically, you know, there's ways to deter people buying guns, and they should be explored. How many people must have stopped smoking cigarettes because of all of the pictures, the use of advertising and the demands that cigarette packages have, you know, Cigarette companies have to, disclaimers and advisories that they have to post 
on their cigarette packages and publicly and so forth, and their advertising and so forth. And how much is it, and the price, the increase in price, extraordinary taxes. I mean, it's had a tremendous effect on smoking. In India, they have the photograph of a cancer lung that's, it has to be published on every single cigarette package sold in India. And it's big, it covers about three quarters of the front of the cigarette package, a lung with cancer. So you look at that, you know, and you think twice and, you know, of course, cigarette, you know, sales go down and people live longer. And if you apply the same kind of principles that we apply for other things on guns, so keep them legal. They want them legal, but then, you know, if such and such, you know, you, you make deterrence to their purchases so somebody can't not cannot casually think, oh, I want to go out on a, on a shooting spree, and instead of going to the target range like any hunter might do, they go to a shopping mall, practice their marksmanship. This is really upside down and absurd. So we can still keep the Constitution and make guns unavailable basically. And that's what we should be doing. I mean, it's not foolproof, you know. People can hit someone else over a, the head with a chair, too. But you're not going to be going around with a club like a Neanderthal man killing 25 people at a time. So this is where the direction it goes. And I open by saying, you know, People should sign a document when they purchase a gun that if they harm anyone with it, they should be castrated. And that's really, really true. And as for women, they're far less harm, harmful. If we make the men more like that, to commit all of these crimes, and we'll have a more docile world. It's a pity we have to think of this. It's a pity that we even had to have to think about, you know, warnings on cigarettes and trying to keep our hospitals not filled with people with cancer of the lungs by the, because of their own stupidity and have beds for people that really need them. But that's the nature of this world. It's, you know, nobody is exempt. We're all part of this society and we have to take responsibility for it the best we can. <laughs>